let's chat about IR. Um, you've got this new round of measures that have been unveiled today by the government. Business likes it. Unions don't. Labor doesn't seem to at the moment, this latest iteration anyway. Does, does, does therein lie the problem of trying to get IR through? Oh, look, well, they've put it straight to committee. They're not even trying to put it through in this last week, are they? So I yeah. think even the government thinks they'll put up these proposals and by the time the crossbench waves some of them through, they'll be watered down. That's what they're anticipating. And the better off overall test, businesses want one of that scrapped altogether. Now, Christian Porter is saying it will only be used in limited circumstances and used for a two-year period each time. Here's an opportunity for Labor, though, really, to, to mention that uh, evil word to a lot of people, work choices, and actually mount a campaign and actually have a point of difference with the government. Difficult to say uh, uh, or go into detail on the reforms because, once again, it's a case of the government making an announcement before they give us the legislation, which is pretty disappointing, Peter, I've got to say. And the way they've rolled this out, it's been very tactical and strategic. Uh, frankly, they could have introduced these bills last week if they thought they had a chance of getting them through this year. They're putting off the fight till next year. Uh, but I'll, I would like to see detail uh, rather than just media release with these things. Is it your view, though, that, that business is getting the rails run here? Because without business, there's no employees. Yeah, well, I don't know about a rails run, but uh, well, I mean, it's been, they it's been supported stand to gain more. Yeah, but the they stand Council. to gain more from the reforms. Sorry, yes, yeah, they, uh, mate, they, they stand to gain more from the reforms. There's no doubt. Mm. But uh, his argument is businesses won't survive if you don't have this. Yeah. But uh, we know how this can be weaponised. I mean, we saw with work choices. The thing is, though, it doesn't really have a big impact on votes until you get a situation where people are paid less. So uh, that's what happened with work choices. And so the proof's in the pudding, really. By the time we get this through Senate committee, the agreements start to take effect. It'll be a slow burn. Mm. So the government, if it is substantial change to wages and conditions, the government might have the luxury of the, the next election first before that seeps mm. through. If it's not, if it's more tinkering and indeed applied in limited circumstances, it won't be a problem for the government.